Hi, Keep Peeps. Welcome to this month's new release report. Wow, we are cruising through 2021, but that just means we have more updates to bring your way. All right, what do we have in store for you this month? Max Classic users out there, we know there are some things in Campaign Builder that you've been asking for literally for years. And we are so excited that we have finally been able to bring them to you. So be able to move opportunities in Campaign Builders. You guys are gonna love this new functionality. So be sure to check it out in the video. For our Light Pro and Max users out there using Keep Business Line, group text messaging is here. This is a fantastic way to stay in touch with all of your team members or to text multiple contacts at once that all work for the same company. You guys are going to love it. For anyone using the Keep Mobile app, we have a brand new navigation that is so pretty and clean. It is amazing. And we've got some exciting changes for invoices and quotes are finally in easy automations. If you guys wanna jump ahead to a specific feature that I just mentioned, be sure to use those timestamps below. And here is Michael. He is our expert on new releases. All right, take it away, Michael. The days of manually moving your opportunities are over with this new sequence process. Now you can select what stage to move an opportunity to, and you can choose which opportunity moves, whether it's only the most recently created one, uh, the one that's been most recently updated, or potentially all of them. Then just decide if you want to move opportunities that are in one or lost. Now you can automatically update opportunities when a form is filled or a tag is applied or if a product is purchased. And best of all, it's something that you don't have to remember to do because Keep will take care of it. Next, I've got a few things to show you about our product purchase goal. First thing you'll notice, it's got a fresh coat of paint, but we did a lot of work under the hood as well. You can now select from your order forms for purchase types. So any of your order forms will show up and you can select one or multiple order forms. In addition to this change, now if you have products that you want to trigger this goal from, you can select multiple products as well, right? So I don't have to configure this goal every single time. I can just add as many products as I need to fit this automation, save it, and I'm good to go. And this next update is going to give you more control over your automation when you're using the tag applied goal. Now I can search for my tags. And it used to be that whenever I had multiple tags, if any of those tags were on this goal, this would get triggered. But now I have the option to be more restrictive and say that all of the tags have to be applied for this goal to be met and then for that automation to be triggered. So this way I have a lot more control over who's seeing what and if I need to create very specific funnels, I can do so with a couple quick tags. You now have the ability to send group messages to up to three contacts from your Keep Business line. This is great because now you can communicate with multiple people at once. You don't have to copy and paste messages. There's no back and forth in between those threads. You get everyone involved in the deal in one message and everyone stays in the loop. There is one catch and the group messages will only display on your mobile app. You will not see them in that messages tab on the web. And in order to make it easier for you to access what you need most, the communications tab in your mobile app is moving to the first spot in your app. And that means it's going to be the default page when you open up the app as well. This change is only going to show up for those of you who are in the US and Canada where Keep Business Line is available. You now have an option to refund payments directly from an invoice. All you have to do is open the paid invoice, go down to the bottom, click on the line item for the payment, and then click the refund button. You used to have to go do this through the contact record, but now you can do it right here on the invoice. Now you can see detailed notifications when a recurring payment fails. The huge benefit here is that you don't have to understand or do some detective work to figure out why you don't have a payment in your app. You can just look at your line items and you can even hover over this error to see what happened with the payment and what will happen next. There are new options for quotes available in your easy automations. So now you can keep leads moving through your sales process by triggering automated follow-up whenever a quote is sent or when one is accepted. You can combine these with the options available for invoices in easy automations to help you get paid faster and that way you don't have to feel like a bill collector that's following up with people and you don't have to waste your time tracking down unpaid invoices either. And because it's important that your clients receive the right amount of follow-up, 
when an invoice is paid or when the quote is accepted, your automation follow-up will stop. So they're not gonna get reminders to pay something that they've already paid or accept a quote that they already thought you were gonna do the work for. The options for invoices in Easy Automations are already live in your application and quotes will be available in Easy Automations on May 13th. Thank you so much, Michael. That was an amazing new release report. Here's a quick recap on the screen. If you missed anything, be sure to check it out. We look forward to seeing you next month where we are going to show you even more updates and new features coming to your Keep app. Thanks for stopping by.